I was born Nancy Morgan in Orange County, North Carolina in 1735. I grew up to be a very tall, muscular woman with red hair, blue eyes, and a scarred face. I was feisty and had a quick temper. The local Cherokees referred to me as War Woman. I was illiterate but ran my household well and was knowledgeable about frontier survival. I was an excellent herbalist and an excellent shot considering the fact that I was cross-eyed. I didn't marry until the age of 36, something very unusual on the frontier, and then moved with my husband, Benjamin Hart, to the Wilkes River of northern Georgia. I was one of the most patriotic women in Georgia. When my husband was away fighting the war, I was alone on the frontier with my children, but managed to sneak away periodically to work as a spy. I would masquerade myself up as a man and enter British camps to pretend to be feeble-minded to gain information. I was also present at the Battle of Kettle Creek on February 14, 1779. But my most famous act involved six British soldiers. They killed my last turkey in the minute I cook it for them. I also generously shared my corn liquor, ensuring that the soldiers were intoxicated. While the turkey was cooking, I sent my daughter to fetch her father who was working in the field. While the soldiers were busy with their dinner and wine, I began to sneak their guns through a hole in the wall. I had gotten two through, but was caught trying to steal a third. I quickly drew the gun and threatened to shoot the first to move. I kept my word and after one of them made an advance on me, I shot and killed him. The rest were weary to move but decided to try and rush me. I shot and wounded another. The soldiers realized they were at a disadvantage and surrendered. They offered to shake hands but I didn't lower my gun. When my husband arrived, I still had the minute gun for him. My husband suggested that we shoot them but I thought that was too good for him. And instead, my husband and a few of the neighbors hung them in from a nearby tree. After the war and my husband's death, I moved several times. I settled in Henderson County, Kentucky around 1803. I died in 1830 and was buried in the Hart Family Cemetery right outside Henderson. In 1912, six bodies were found buried near my old home, thus confirming my legend. In Georgia, I am referred to as a revolution heroine. A city, lake, county, and highway were named in my honor.